Hai Hai Edwin Hai For those who have not watched the previous overview, my name is Phil. I do visual effects. Uh, I did visual effects for Pakani, season one. And today we are going to talk about removing stuff from a plate. First of all, what is a plate? A plate is a, is a technical name for the footage that the DOP has shot on, on the set. So for, for, for the technical side of it, we call it a plate. Now, while the DOP is shooting, Director of Photography, for those who don't know what DOP stands for, uh, the guy actually was uh, holding the camera and shooting. He might shoot some stuff that is not needed into, into the final product. For example, you might shoot a billboard that is not needed. Uh, you might shoot vehicles, especially the number plates. Uh, you need to hide the number plates, communication masts, especially if they are military, uh, they, they need to be removed. Uh, if you are shooting certain buildings, actually, because uh, if, if I'm not very wrong, there are certain buildings you're not supposed to show them being destroyed. Um, I think it was, it was in Pacific Rim, the first one. I'm not very sure, but you can check out what they said about Pacific Rim and the buildings in, in Hong Kong. So. Once the DOP gives you the footage and then the director goes through it, he'll come to you and be like, I want you to remove uh, element A, B, and C. It can even be a sky, you know, it might be overcast and maybe they want a beautiful sky or uh, um, an evening shot or something. So you need to remove all those stuff. So what are some of the things that you need to consider while removing such elements and what are the methods? Of removing such elements. For example, uh, the camera that uh, cameras that are, are used to shoot uh, the films are not as intricate as the human eye. The human eye can see a diverse spectrum of color. I, I don't know, it's, I think it's millions or something, I think it falls into millions. But the cameras so far, uh, it has a very limited spectrum of color. So you find so many artifacts, especially once the footage has been shot, uh, there'll be grain and also noise. Uh, so once you place all your stuff, you also have to match all those things. So uh, let us go into the edit suit. I show you some of the things that we did, especially removing masts, communication masts um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the episodes. Oh, I, a little backstory about this scene. This is in episode one. Uh, this is now the establishing shot that we have of uh, Burhan's camp. Uh, initially, I was not even supposed to work on Mpakani uh, for visual effects. I was supposed to be on another project. Uh, actually, Paul and I we were working on another small, not really small, but it was going to be a very different production. But now, uh, after we delivered the mission to rescue, I think our bosses became confident in us to deliver um, Pakani. So you we were told to, to shift from that project and now just focus now on doing the visual effects from Pakani. So this uh, episode one, we were trying to experiment on how to do stuff. We really did not have like a pipeline. So we were just like, uh, uh, let's, let's try this, let's try this, uh, let's see which one works better for us. So there are parts where we mix uh, methods just to achieve a very simple thing, which later we, we learned down the line. And now when we got now maybe to episode three, four and five, now there's, oh no, we, we don't, really don't need to mix up stuff. You can just use one method and achieve whatever you need to achieve. So I'll just play this scene first, then I'll tell you uh, what we did. Bar awada, sadai. Okay. See, it's very, it's very subtle, by the way. This, this, uh, this one of those uh, invisible effects. These are the effects that nobody actually notices. Even, even, even the guys on set might actually not even notice what we did on this. Apart maybe from the director and the editors, and maybe the uh, the, the production manager, 
and all that and uh, very very few people by the way so this is actually a pre-comp let me just now take you to the footage uh i want to show you what we did so uh, look around this area and look around this area so so there was a communication mast uh, around this area and then we had buildings uh, in the background so one thing about these uh, insurgents whenever they set up camp uh, they usually do two things either they set up uh, in the midst of people like oh, where there's a village they come and settle there and take over the village yes they, they they'll still have people around who are civilians but most of the time they are actually going to be used as as human shields and then when it comes to communication masts most of the time they destroy them they don't want any communication like especially when it comes to military communication or or maybe where people can call for help to the police they destroy those masts so uh, even in, in the news you you'll hear a lot of uh, uh, communication must be destroyed in in Garissa and stuff around the border. So it's just their common practice. So we had to hide uh, this. We had to remove this uh, mast, and we also had to remove uh, these buildings in the background. So one thing I did, I I, I took a shot. Actually, I think I took this this. I saved this uh, um, this screen screenshot. Actually, in After Effects, not a screenshot. Actually, it's a bit uh, high res. I just come here like a uh, composition. Then you say save framers. Then you can uh, decide. But I saved as a file. Then I went to Photoshop, and then I printed out the buildings. So the secret to this: don't overthink. Don't overthink it. Don't start creating uh, trees in, in 3D and all that stuff because it's a pretty much a 2D. Uh, camera movement and the buildings are very fine the background so just copy the textures that are around this place and then uh, check out which, uh, which which elements are aligning how for example there's a there's a there's a there's a bush around this region and then in the background there's a i think this is just a flat region with uh with with, with shrubs this area over here shrubs and then here there was actually i think a tree i just went to photoshop and then using the clone tool i just cloned those textures back and that was just one file now because this track the track for this region and the track for this region cannot work the same they are very far apart so i had to track this region by itself and track this region by itself so i had two tracks then for for the for the mast i went in and painted out the mast and then uh brought back the, the 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 hill that was in the background so i maintained that so i just did a simple 2d track by the way um nothing complex simple 2d track uh for both the mast and and and, and the building then now after i tracked everything back uh, into into the picture there there was a little uh, a bit of artifacts especially this region around the mast there was a lot of uh, you had to uh, co co control the brightness and contrast of this region because as you move in you realize there's, there's a highlight happening around this region there's a there's a, there's a bit of you see it's, it's a bit bright around this region so what i did now this is the layer that i pre-composed i pre-composed this layer now this one then i applied the giant clone tracker so now i harmonized everything around this region so even the clouds the the, the, the i brought back the clouds um then this other tracker i brought in the region which did not have clouds just to make sure the textures are seamless uh, they are blending into each other without showing the boundaries of where i painted in painted out the mast I also did a bit uh, to the mountain, uh, to the hill at the bottom. So I did also another track for the at the bottom. Yeah, and, that's, and that was it. So uh, so now I ended up getting this. So you see, I made, I did a bit uh, uh, a bit of Photoshop and uh, and a bit of a uh, uh, clone uh, uh, cloning in, 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 in with the red giant Marada. application. So they... But I realized actually red giant can actually just solve this thing without going to Photoshop. Later, that is, I, 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 I 
later understood that a regent can actually just do this. The problem will actually be here the buildings where you have to now uh, figure out the textures and everything. So this most probably you have to go back to Photoshop and paint in the textures. So we did a lot of this work. This is actually like 50% of what we did. Just removing, adding, removing, adding and a lot of rot work. So yeah, uh, catch you on the next one. Thank you. So, uh, what do you think? Is this something you like to pursue? Uh, you could take uh, some of those video footages from online. It could be a phone screen, a TV screen, um, holographic surfaces. Then create your graphic and overlay them on those surfaces. Uh, track them and uh, make sure they stick. Uh, there are many tutorials online for such uh, stuff. I don't, I don't want to go into the tutorial part of it. Like I said, these are just overviews. So I want you to be curious to go out there and learn uh, how to stick your landing. Uh, go ahead, try some of this stuff out. Uh, have a crack at it. Then once you're done, post your work. Tag us at Foxton on all our sites, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, whichever site you use uh, will be there. We will look at your work so that we can follow you and see your growth. Let's grow this industry together and uh, grow each other's talents. See you.